Hey guys, Dina Rose here, and welcome back to another episode from the world of Odium. Now, it's been a while since we've done a video together here, but I have been extremely busy. Um, as you can see behind me, in the distance, you might recognize some of those platforms, but things look a whole lot different than they did last time we were here. So, I thought we, I would... Uh, bring you in and show you what's been going on. So here we are, we are in Nerd's Tree. Um, I kind of like this place because it gives a nice flight path all the way over to our trees. Now if you remember, it's been a while. Um, it's been quite a while since I recorded, well, since I posted a recording from this server. The truth is, is I, I have recorded a couple of other videos, but um, I wasn't pleased with the way that they turned out uh, and so instead of putting out something that I considered inferior quality I decided to wait until I had something that I could be proud of so thank you for being patient with me um, but I want you to know that I have not been idle in fact I have spent many many hours here in in Talonwood working on our trees so as you can see we're gonna fly in right underneath dodge and weave and dodge and weave and we're gonna land ha that worked out pretty well um, anyway we're gonna land right here by our door so here we are we are in the door at the base of our tree um, As you can remember, this is the storage area, current storage area. This will all get cleaned up uh, over the course of the next couple of days, honestly, because our work in Talonwood is almost finished. Everyone here is finishing up projects because we have a new exciting thing that we're planning for starting in October, and I think that you're really gonna like it. Um, just go up these windy, windy stairs. <laughs> because they are a lot of stairs and they wind around and around. I'm not sure what I thought, was thinking. Um, anyway, so here we are out on our platforms. Um, as you recall, we built five trees. One, two, three, four, five. And these five trees make up the basis of our tree city. Now, what I've been doing between episodes is putting to, putting in the walkways, um, finishing them up, getting the canopies on these trees. And guys, let me tell you, getting canopies on custom trees, especially big custom trees like this, is a headache. Um, it takes forever. I have been on the server for hours and hours just placing leaf blocks. Now I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I think I think they look good. Um, I think they came out really well. But let me pull up my stats because I find this very interesting. So if we go to blocks and we come down here just a little bit. Leaves. Now this isn't just oak leaves. These are leaf varieties. I have placed 7,941 leaf blocks. Let that sink in for a moment. Yeah, I have been on the server a lot, doing a lot of leaf block placing. <laughs> but it's done. Um, it is done. So, you know what? I was going to say let me sleep, but my bed is way down there. I think I think this is light enough to be able to see what's going on here. So with my canopy, what I did was I used these dark oak fences as kind of a support for the uh, the leaves coming down through. And I love the way that they just kind of creep through. One thing I'm really enjoying about working on the Odium server is taking ideas that other people have had and incorporating them into my own build. So. I, I don't know that I would have used these trailing leaves if it wasn't for Nerd's Tree. 
um, I saw what he did with his trailing vine leaves and I was like oh that's wonderful and and I incorporated that another thing is the variation between the spruce leaves and then the oak leaves and I think they look really good together but I'm not sure that I would have done that or thought of doing that if it wasn't for the different people who have been making trees um, I, I just don't know if I would have have done that. Now my another thing that I like about this server is that all of the trees, like all of the builds are unique. Um, okay, I have not been flying well today. Um, but let me see if I can try. Okay, here goes. This could end very badly. Um, my elytra has not been engaging well, so let's see if I can do this. Okay, fly, fly. All right. So if we look at Nerd's tree, it's it's very flat, um, very wide. Look at mine, very rounded. Um, and I think that works. Yeah, I think that works to have them rounded like this because if you look at where we're at compared to the big tree, we're pretty much right underneath of it, which means that if this was not Minecraft, if this was real life situation, um, our trees wouldn't be getting that much sunlight. Once the sun passed behind the big tree, these trees would be in, in darkness quite a bit. So it makes sense that they would have grown clustered in together um, with their, their leaves just you know, packed in as opposed to sprawled out big. They just don't have the room to do that because of the space that the big tree takes up. Um, now, there there are other other trees on the server. Um, and like I said, don't really trust my flying today. Uh, it's just not going quite well. Um, but brownies trees are, are also very wide and sprawled out but they are a bit taller than nerds. So I, it's just really interesting to see the different, um, the different build styles and yet being able to bring it all together and make it into a, a style that works for everyone. So I have, I've done the trees. I have, you know, built them up, gotten the canopies on them, but we're not finished. Um, I mean, we're getting close. We really are, and, and we need to because we want to get this uh, province finished up this week. I, that's one of the reasons I've been working so hard. Um, everybody else is kind of pulling together. Now there's more work, obviously, that needs to be done in the big tree, but other, other people's areas they're finishing up. Wallace is done with his. Nerd is done with his. Desert Rat, Desert Rat is finished with his area. Um, Brownie is coming to a completion. Crafting Mantis is working on finishing her area. And so, and, and Knight is done with his area. So all of these different areas are finishing up and, and we really needed to get ours finished as well because coming up at the end of this week, um, there's going to be a download, a world download available so that you could walk through and enjoy this world as much as we do. So that being said, we want there to be some really nice things to deal with in this world, which means there's some work that needs to be done because we have no interiors and there's still a whole bunch of landscaping that needs to be finished. So let me gather some things together and let's get started on building some nice interiors for these trees because I don't want to just leave them bare. I want there to be some interiors for people to look at and enjoy when they when they get to explore this world. All right, let me gather my materials and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, I have been hard at work. Um, I gathered up all of the materials that I needed and then set to work putting this, this tree city into its final place. So I have been around. 
I've cleaned up the, um, just got finished cleaning up the storage area down below. So that's all cleaned up now. Um, my, my inventory is packed full of, of shulkers that I, I need to go take back to the, uh, to the village to clean up and, and put those away. But we are, we're done here. And I want to show you around and show you what I've done. Um, and I think the best place to start is heading right over here. So each of these trees either is a house or something else. So we have five trees, which means five different things to look at. Um, none of these are exactly the same. I, I like to make make them all a tiny bit different. Um, so let's go start here. One thing that is the same though is you will find carpets all the way around because underneath of these is the glowstone and I didn't want that visible. I wanted to add the colors of the province which is the cyan, the yellow, and the orange. And I wanted that to be very vibrant here up in the trees. So you're going to see a lot of those colors uh, in the windows, in the carpets, um, in the decorations on the inside. So these are actually very sparse in reality. I didn't go over detailed in the designs because this is supposed to be a tree people. Looking around at what the other people in the in the province are doing, it seemed like going with more more of a mon minimalistic. Um, design so I, I didn't want to deviate too far from what others were doing so this is this is what I've come up with um, just a simple home now not sure if this is some kind of an altar or or what is going on here but it, it just seemed to fit very well in this area one thing that I did with all of the houses is to add these leaves coming down out of out of the tree tr tree top because you know it kind of fits with what's going on on the outside too and I thought that was fun. I also made I uh, had water in each of these homes because water would be an important thing. Um, I'm not sure if they would have a sister, uh, not like a a gathering pool. Bringing the water up would be would be pretty important. Um, if we come back down here, let's go up, up around the tree. So this is this is that plat. This goes up to the upper platform, and again we have a very similar, similar home, similar size, uh, following the same idea with the roof, um, the windows, a different layout. For the room itself which is really important to me um, I didn't want everything to look exactly the same I wanted them to be different I wanted them to have a little bit of a uniqueness to them and I think that I was able to accomplish that with just a few small pieces of furniture here and there now this this home is a little bit different because instead of being three wide this tree is only two wide so I wasn't able to do the stained glass windows I mean it just wouldn't work but what I did do instead so the door is in the corner and I used stairs to make a window um, facing out gives you a, a pretty decent view if you stand on the bed um, not so good sitting on the floor, but standing on the floor. But truthfully, you can't look out the stained glass windows either because of how tall they are. One thing I did add was this flower. I love these flowers. They're probably one of my favorite Minecraft flowers ever. Can we sleep? We can sleep. Let's sleep off the, uh, the night just so that we don't have creepers and all kinds of nasty things down spawning down below okay so this is this is the tree here I love I love the immersion right here I mean look at this we've got 
this tree, we've got the canopy of these other trees, and it just, it's so cool to stand here and you're, you're just surrounded by the trees. And this is just the trees in our little city. And there's, there's so many other very cool trees in this province. But let's head down and take a look at the other two trees and see what I've done with those. This is another one of those small homes with the, the small windows. This one looks out over the, um, the big tree and you can kind of see, watch and see who's coming up and down the uh, outer stairway, which I think is kind of a cool, a cool thing to be able to see. Now this up here is different than the others. Um, because this is not a home. One thing about the tree druids is that they're supposed to be a very, well, kind of a focused on magic people. And I haven't done a whole lot in this, um, in this tree village to, to show that. But this room kind of makes up for it. I love the way that the particle effects come into the enchanting table. And it, it just makes sense that somewhere in, in the Tree Druid village, there would be a place for enchantments. And this is it, guys. This is, this is where the Druids can come and they can get their enchanting done. We've got the, the magic book. Um, you know, just, just wonderful. Now this room I did differently. I did not bring the leaves down into this room because I wanted this to feel more, I don't know, more put together, more, more sacred, maybe more, um, ready for that ritual, ready for those rituals that they would be doing here, more solemn. Um, so I, in, I don't, <laughs> Let me try that again. I didn't put the leaves down because I like the clean look of this room. I love the, the torches up top. It just gives it a really almost formal feeling compared to the rest of the, the builds, and I really like that. I did clean up down below. Um, let me see if we can, we can kind of peek down there without falling. No, uh, that's not really, but you can see I um I did eliminate a lot of our torch spam. It's not perfect, um, but I think it does the job for now. Let's see, where's a good spot to to peek out here? Yeah, see, so the torch spam is gone. We we've eliminated that. Um, I. I am going to call this, I'm going to call our build done. Um, there's a lot more things that could be, could be done with landscaping and, and terraforming and, and things like that. But I think for the sake of time and since the new, the new area is going to be starting up here very, very shortly, I think we're going to call this done guys. And I'm really I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I really am. Um, it was a lot of work. So much time has gone into these trees. So much block placement. So many hours just grinding away. One leaf in front of the other. But we're here. And, and I love it. I really, really do. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and I love reading what you have to say. Let me know what you think about the, the tree city. Let me know what things that you might change or that you really liked about our build here. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode where we'll do a walkthrough of Talonwood. And, um, and it's just really amazing to see what's out there. So I'll see you in the next one.